I'm John Schull. My co-conspirators and I think the easiest and most productive road to innovation is through multidisciplinary collaboration. We have a plan for filling the Student Innovation Center with student innovations and with innovating students. Let the students design and implement the interior furnishings and technologies for this remarkable building. Here are the architect's drawings. They've created a beautiful round glass structure which will stand in marked contrast to RIT's traditional brick fortresses of knowledge. What we'd like to show you here is how we think the building can be used to create an ongoing culture of creativity at RIT starting with freshman orientation. Here's an incoming freshman at the threshold of the new center. She's just picked up her ID card and she's interacting with some way cool immersive computing technologies some of my students developed this year. Hi Liz, we are so happy to meet you. Tell us about yourself. What are your talents? What are your dreams? Wow! You like immersive computing, industrial design, and sculpture? So do these students. And here are some other students and projects we'd like you to consider. They would love to get you involved in their very cool projects. You can point at these pictures for more information, or you can just come inside and explore. Once inside, Liz is surrounded by students of all ages, some acting as mentors, some acting as learners, working on exciting multidisciplinary projects in an environment they designed and built. This communication technology, for example, lets students collaborate across buildings as well as within. With this kind of technology, our Glass Innovation Center can serve as a hub and a portal for collaboration and transparency across the entire campus. Here's our diabolical plan for culture change at RIT. Immerse next year's freshmen in multidisciplinary projects from day one, and by the time they graduate, they will have helped lead and define RIT's transformation into the world's first Innovation University. Some might wonder, but how can we get here? Well, we've designed project-centered courses, sponsored, we hope, by the Honors Program. And these courses should help students research, design, and build furniture, reconfigurable wall panels, communication tools, all sorts of things to support multidisciplinary collaboration. In the fall courses, students would use design research methods to study collaboration practices at RIT and worldwide. This kind of exploration has already started this spring. In the winter, we'd build on that work and design physical, digital, and social accommodations for multidisciplinary collaboration. The industrial design department has actually done this kind of thing before. They built their fabulous fourth floor studio space and it's a great collaborative environment. The spring courses would fabricate and install the furniture and technologies designed in the winter quarter. And so, in the fall of 09, we'll celebrate the opening of the Student Innovation Center and RIT's first annual cycle of collaborative innovation and a new set of tools and flexible facilities that will inspire and support innovation and creativity at RIT in the future. Innovation and creativity depends on initiative, risk-taking, and attitude. It's fun but hard work made easier when learners and disciplinary adepts mix it up and take on exciting new challenges. Our proposed recipe for kickstarting this whole process has four main ingredients. Support for next year's experimental courses to study and advance collaborative innovation at RIT. We'll need project spaces for next year because we don't yet have an innovation center. We'll need an ongoing commitment of space for future projects and students, presumably in the innovation center and we'll need support for a student innovation life cycle that endows incoming freshmen and their advanced mentors with motive and means for continual reinvention. Join the creative conspiracy for cross-campus collaboration.